I'd like to welcome everyone that's, that's here today, especially I'd like to welcome the, the young, our children that are here, and this message is especially for you today. Now we have been studying about how we are to glorify God, how we are to live before God in such a way that pleases Him, that gives Him pleasure. Now, we have discovered, first of all, that in order for us to please God, we must love God. But in order for us to love God, we must know Him. The greatest treasure, children, that you could ever discover is to know who God is. Now, most of you have a backyard in your home. What if I were to tell you that there was a treasure buried in your backyard? Would you go look for it today after church? I bet you would. Now, what if I told you that it was buried ten feet down, but it was the greatest treasure in the universe? Would you still go look for it? You would dig and dig and dig and dig. And what if I told you that it was even buried ten feet down through solid rock? You would still be out there digging and digging. You'd wear out all your mother's spoons, all your father's shovels, because there's the greatest treasure in the universe. But the greatest treasure in the universe is to know God, to know Him. Now, so in order to bring delight to the heart of God, in order to give pleasure to God, we must know Him. But there's something else that we need. We must know how to live according to His commands. Do you see that? Now, in the Scriptures, we have commandments, and we also have principles of wisdom. We need to search out all of these things to learn how to live. Do you know what a lie is? A lie is something that is simply not true. Do you know what? Every day, the world is full of lies. And lies will tell you how the world is supposed to be, but it's not true. And lies can lead you astray. That is why you need the Word of God. Now, I've got a passage I want to read to you. Are you ready? It's in Psalms 119, 105, and it says simply this, Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Now, young people, I want you to think about something for a moment. And if you want to, later on, when you get home tonight, you can do this. Parents, you can even do this with your child. Shut off all the lights. Shut off all the lights and then try to walk through the living room without breaking your toe. It's very hard, isn't it? It's almost impossible. But then, parents, what you can do is you can set your child in a certain place in the living room and then write out a map that you've already figured it out, and you say to the child audibly, now, walk five steps forward. They walk five steps forward. Stop. They stop. Now walk two steps to your left. And they do that. Stop. And you can lead them all the way through the house without them ever stubbing their toe. Why can you do that? Because you listened to something that was true that told you how to walk. Do you see that? Now, this is the same way. You and I do not know how to walk. You want a really good lesson? Your parents have probably told you this a few times. When you were born, you came out knowing nothing. Okay? Zero. And if you did know something, it was wrong. So what do you have to do? You have to learn how to walk. Now, imagine this. Do you know that in war, there's a terrible thing called a mine? And what it is, it's a thing that they put underground that you can't see, but if you step on it, it'll go click. Then when you, it's, when you pull your foot off of it and there's no weight, it blows up. If you're a soldier, that scares you more than just about anything else in a war. Now, wouldn't it be good if you had to walk through a minefield to have a map that told you exactly where all those mines are, 
so you could avoid them? Wouldn't that be good? Well, I'm going to tell you something. If your dad told you, go get the newspaper, but between you and that newspaper were about a hundred minds that would blow you up, would you go get the newspaper? Hopefully not. But if you had a map and you said, okay, I can go two steps forward according to this map. Uh-oh, there's one. Now I need to go over this way. Okay, okay, I'm all right. Do you see? Now, let me tell you something. Most people who call themselves Christians today do not do what I'm telling you right now. They say they believe in Jesus, and then they live on the broad way. They walk in a way that seems right to them. And you can even go to them with the Bible, and if you tell them something the Bible clearly says, they'll get mad at you. We don't want to be that way. We want to believe in Jesus and do what He says, because what He says will bring Him pleasure if we obey it, but it will also save your life. If you want to give God glory, then study in His Word what He says to do and do it. Now I'm going to finish with a, uh, a story that, that I always tell my boys this over and over. They've heard it a million times. Okay, There was a missionary one day in Africa and his little boy was playing out under a tree in front of the house. And the missionary walked out, and when he walked out, he saw his boy playing there, and he said, Fall! And the little boy just went, Phew! and fell straight on the ground like this. And then he said, Crawl to me! And he crawled. And then he said, Get up on your feet! He jumped up on his feet. He said, Run to me! And he ran. Now you say, well, that's kind of crazy. Well, here's what happened. The father walked out on the front porch and he looked and his little boy was playing and there was a deadly viper right behind his head. Right here. A deadly snake. Terrible. Hanging right there. Now, children, if the dad would have said, let's say the dad's over there and, and you're playing and he says, fall! Would you have gone, why? <laughs> Do you see? What would have Why, Dad? Or, I don't want to. Or, how come? He'd be dead, wouldn't he? But look what the little boy did. Fall. He trusted his father. Now, fathers, if you're going to demand this kind of trust, mothers, you better be trustworthy. Fall. He fell. And then crawl. He crawled under the snake. Run to me. He ran. This is good, parents, for us too. Absolute obedience to an absolutely, completely wise God will save your life. Will save your life. Let's pray. Children, let's pray. Father, bless these children that they might know You, God. That they might love You. That they, that their lives might be marked with joy, inexpressible and full of glory. And that they might go out from this place, Lord, and, and maybe even be missionaries around the world, losing everything maybe even their lives, for the sake of Your Son. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you.